edition of Flight Tank for beginners. Today we're going to tie a deep black stone fly. The hook I have in a vise is a four extra long streamer nymph hook. And this is a size eight. I'm going to start out by putting some weight on there. I'm going to use 30 thousands lead wire or lead free wire whichever you have or whichever you prefer we're going to put about a dozen wraps on there go ahead and take off that excess and with that 30,000th wire Kind of have to use your fingernail to taper off the end of it. We're going to push that closer to the top. We're going to go ahead and use some black thread. This is 70 denier. Start that behind the eye. We want to leave one eye length from the eye in back of the eye. That space there. We don't that want that lead wraps right up to the eye itself. Go ahead and secure this. You can see we have about an eye length behind there. I'm going to go ahead and put down a base of thread down the remainder. Stoneflies live on the rocks on the bottom and is going to be a large heavy fly. I'm going to start with the tail and for the tail I'm going to use black goose biots. We just take them and pull them off. Then we're going to use that natural curve and we're going to use that I'm going to put that on the far side so it has a natural separation. We're going to make this about half the length of the hook shank. Pinch that in place. So we keep that on the side there. can give it a wrap underneath the tail that'll help to separate that just a little bit further take the second take that natural curve once again and since we pulled them off at the same time we can just measure them up by keeping the butt sections the same length put a couple of wraps on there and put a wrap underneath it we get a nice separated tail I'm gonna take this and secure that and we can just wrap everything right in and we're gonna come out just in back of the lead wraps I'm going to take black covered copper wire this is from the jewelry section in the store. This is 26 gauge. This is heavy stuff. I'm going to tie this in right. I'm going to butt it to the lead wraps. We're going to wrap this down pretty tightly. I'm going to keep that on top wherever it you tie it in you want to keep it at that spot here I have it on top so I want to keep that on top we don't want to go around with it we don't want to start out on the top and end up on the side keep it pretty close to where you tied it in that will help to keep that uniform body And when you get back to the tail, make sure you tie that in pretty tight. And 
and then bring that thread back forward and we're going to wrap this if you have a rotary vise it's good to use that I'm gonna bring that thread back out of the way and you want to wrap this pretty tight you bring the wire back there a little bit you'll get it will roll right off the previous wrap and right into place nicely a little bit loose on my vise there there we go And you want to bring that right up to those lead wraps and fill all of that in. I'm going to go ahead and helicopter this off. And with that wire wrapped that tight, it's not going to unravel on you. Now you can see I have that wire is... Uh, sticking up I'm just going to push that down you can use pliers if you have to I'm gonna wrap on the end of it and bring my thread right back to where the uh, lead wraps ended I'm going to tie in the wing case for the wing case I'm gonna use the dark section of a turkey tail I'm going to cut this pretty wide. You can see I cut that a good 5 eighths of an inch, a little more than half. I'm going to trim off that tip. And we're going to tie that in. Center it on the hook. And when you wrap, it's going to go around and that is fine go ahead and secure that and you can see how that went al almost all the way around but when you pull it it's going to stay up on the top when you fold it over and pull it it's going to stay up on the top nicely now we're going to start with the legs going to take that goose by out once again pull off a pair and we're going to tie them on we don't want them real long we want that to be just about to the tail go ahead and tie them in Give that a couple of wraps to hold it We're down. We're going to take the other leg, again using that same natural curve, size it up in the front, and then you can secure that. They're a little bit long, I'm going to trim off the excess. Now you're going to take some dubbing, some black dubbing. You can use rabbit fur. Here I have a the bloody black has the little red rubber inside. And but this is rabbit fur. I'm going to try to get just small amounts of the rubber in there. Don't really want it. And we want to dub this pretty heavy. Want to make sure we have a nice thick uh, thorax, and we're going. I'm going to go ahead and wrap that. And we came up just a small amount. I'm going to put another set of legs on. Take that goose by out once again, and we want them to just. When you tie them in, you want them to be just the same length as 
the previous set of legs. You can see there Go ahead and tie them down. Get them right on the side. And I'm going to trim away the excess. And we're going to add more dubbing. Adding Using the rabbit fur dubbing, I like that, especially for this fly, because uh, it will help to give that impression of a nice, thick uh, thorax, like the stone flies are. The thoraxes are much bigger than the abdomen. Go ahead and wrap this, and bring that up another section. And we're going to go ahead and put our third pair of legs on. Once again, use the black goose biots. And pull that to the side. There we go. And remove the excess. Now I'm going to keep my thread up towards the front. I'm going to take one final pair of goose biots and I'm going to use these for antenna. Once again, use that natural curve. And I don't want these, you only want these to be about half the length of your tail. that a little bit longer keep those on the side and we'll trim away the excess I'm going to bring our thread back and we're going to dub the last section. On the last section, you want it fat, and then you want it tapered down. And we're going to go ahead and wrap that last. Now we can take our wing case and fold that over. When you fold it over, it should be nice and flat. Going to hold it in place, put a loose loop on there, and then pull that tight. Put a couple of wraps there. And then we're going to remove that excess. Cut that nice and tight. And then we're going to clean up that head. Take our whip finish. And we'll finish it up using some head cement. Put some on the head, and I'm going to coat the wing case. It's going to soak in, so it doesn't matter if you have a nice, if you have a heavy coating. And here we have a deep black stonefly nymph. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends, leave comments, questions.
suggestions, suggestions.